Well, ladies and gentlemen, it is go time. My name is Todd Grisham, and next to me for the broadcast, the one and only Johnny Nelson. It's action. It's action night. It's time for our tale of the tape. Smoking Joe. He took part in the greatest boxing trilogy of all time with Muhammad Ali. He defines the words Philly fighter. And he'll face Deontay Wilder, six foot seven inches tall, with that massive 83 inch reach. Oh my goodness, look at the. We've waited a long time for this fight. It's here, and the fighters are good to go. Todd, it's a privilege and an honor to be here. You know what? I feel so, so lucky to be sat here talking about something I love. And what I say, you must obey. Good luck. Great to have you with us for this all-action affair. We expect big things, and I don't think we're going to be disappointed. What a world championship fight we're seeing, ladies and gentlemen. Both men step back for just a moment. You're not going to see a lot of finesse and skills from this guy. He wants to bury his forehead in your chest and pound away. You find the swarmer, you've got to protect everything. The body with the elbows, the head with the forearm. You've got to try and push them off balance because they will just stay in your face. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And wait a minute, a left hand lands. They're so close, so close. How can you separate them? It's going to be a hard night tonight for the judges. He scores with that right hand. Not a lot of punch output. Thought there might be more action here. You don't want to trade shots. This round could go either way. Ten seconds to go. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. What do we expect to see here in round two? Well, there's no doubt about who won that last round. Let's see what he has for us here in the next one. Now keep an eye on this slugger. As you know, he's willing to take three to give one. That's his game plan, and it's worked out pretty well for him so far. Sluggers just want to mow you down. They want to walk straight through as though you do not exist. You gotta be fit for this one. He blocks the hook. He blocks the uppercut. He's got a massive reach advantage. Let's see if he uses it. Very smart, very sharp. This is a fit young man style that he's got to get inside that long reach. Not many fighters can do that. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. Very close match. It shows the skill, the discipline, the respect both fighters have for each other because no one dare do anything out of turn. Oh, 
Rose. And there he caught him with a stiff jab. Counter punching. This round's still up for grabs with just 10 seconds to go. the advantage so far, but how does this match get turned around? Dominance without a doubt. Meg looks so, so easy. Here we go in round three. Who's going to land the first big shot? Coming off that fantastic last round. Let's see if he can keep his momentum going. Call it the glory division. There's nothing quite like a heavyweight fight. It doesn't take much to win it. Because they're so big, because they can push, because they've got the weight behind them, they may not be connecting, but trust me, when they connect, that's when this fight sets on fire. Because someone's going to get hurt, and someone's going to react. Why are they throwing punches? They should be playing defense right now. Counter shot. Oh, and they just got their bell rung. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. He got out of the way of that right hook. Let this fighter's speed fool you. There's some method to the madness. These are precision shots, and they're coming at lightning speed. Having so much speed, what happens to your opponent is you get cut to ribbons, and that's where the referee has to jump in and stop the fight. And you know this is going to happen, so you rush your work. You think, I've got to get him inside close rounds. Both men step back for just a moment. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Talk about a one-sided three minutes. We just saw it. I seriously hope the judges kept their eye on. Here we go in round four. Who's going to land the first big shot? This fight has been very one-sided. What are we going to have in this round? Todd, my motto is, if it's not broken, why change it? An excellent last round, everything worked. Wait for the reaction. Until then, keep doing what you've just been doing because you've won that hands down. Last round, complete domination. Let's see what we have in store for us here. Talk about a fighter having power. Don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body. And Deontay Wilder just got clipped. Looks like they've shaken it off. Can they figure out the combination to this safe? He just misses with that big right hand. Perfectly matched. Skill for skill, tap for tap. Now this fight will say, you know what, I'm just that notch above you. And so I've got to respect both of them more than nothing. Big swing and a miss. You'd like to see more jabs. away that left hook. A very competitive round with 10 seconds left. They're 
it's no secret who had the advantage after that last round. Let's see what they have in store for us in the next one. You can't leave it up to the judges. It's up to you as a fighter. And the cornerman's got to put a firecracker on the fighter. Get out there and get the job done. Time for the fifth round. That round was complete domination. Let's see if we can shake things up here in this round. When you're a power puncher, you're not as concerned with how many punches you throw. It's about how many you land and how hard they are. I've seen certain fighters that can depend on just their power alone. Forget tactics. They know the second they touch you, it's done. That's where the confidence comes from. And these shots, even if they land, are going to be no damage. That punch scores. to this safe. You've seen all the famous boxing movies, the training scenes, the gym work. That's what it all boils down to. Who's going to have Deontay Wilder rocked right now? He's in some serious trouble. And the bronze bomber goes down. One, two, three, four. They'll make it up, and this fight continues. One, two, three, four, five. Now let his legs are gone, but somehow he's still in this fight. They believe their fighter has it in the tank. Let's start the six. He barely survived the last round after two knockdowns. Let's see what happens here. Two knockdowns, and you're coming back from that. That's near on impossible because your head must be all over the place. Your legs would feel like jelly. What can they tell you in the corner? All they can do is wake you up. They can't even go into game plan. He misses with that jab. You've heard the phrase, finding a second win. I don't think I need to tell you which one of these fighters needs to find it. What can they change? Can they slow the pace down? Can they hope to, to, to knock them out early? What can they do? They've got to concentrate and relax. Because you know what you can do in the gym. You can do it in the front. They've got to relax. Shots from both these fighters. Got to be careful, though. Another missed punch. Skill for skill, tap for tap. She's like a match made in heaven. And he misses with that jab. He fails to score with that left hook. And forth they go. You know the scorecards are going to be all over the place in this one. Oh, wow, they just got clipped, and he's in a world of trouble. I don't know if I've ever seen him this hurt before. That was almost a 10-8 round, complete dominance. As long as they don't get complacent, you think this is too easy. If they keep this same kind of pace up, they've got this fight. Here we go, it's round seven. Coming off that fantastic last round, let's see if he can keep his momentum going. How do they use the 
this fighter's aggression. but I'm not sure why. Nice exchange here from both men. He didn't take that jab well at all. Perfect game plan. The thing is, can anybody figure out what to do to change this? It's a perfect start. Big right hand just misses. Endurance is becoming a factor. You can see this fighter having a hard time getting out of the way of the punches, and they're not throwing as many on their own. Now this is about desire. This is about character. This is about want. So final 10 seconds of the round, and he is looking really sharp. Gotta wonder how big of a factor that knockdown's gonna be we just saw. To make or break a fighter. And we enter the eighth round. Let's see how he bounces back here after getting dropped in the last round. That knockdown we just saw was a heavy knockdown. I'd be very, very surprised if he'll come out Fresh as a daisy. That's not gonna happen. He's got a hustle now. He's got a. He's got a bluff him. There's a counter shot. They are giving us a high tempo show. One of these fighters is starting to run out of gas. What do you do as a fighter when you just don't have the energy? Midway through the fight, if you are tired, this can be the loneliest place in the world. If you cheated, now we're going to find out. Nice exchanges from both men in this round. They missed with that jab. Then step back for just a moment. This fighter's certainly not going to outthrow their opponent by any means, but they will when they hit. Be a lot harder. So one right. who draws first blood top. That's what you've got to look at. If you hit and you know you're in there with a banger, you've got to be on it. But you've got to be confident. When are we going to see a jab from these two? Punch out, but thought there might be more action here. Very close round with 10 seconds to go. Beautiful counter punch. Lands with the right counter. Any good placed body shot can take down your stamina, and that's what this fighter is going to have to deal with. Not to mention, let's see how much fatigue we see here in round nine. They're up and ready to go. Surely this round won't be as good as the last one. How much energy did they use? How hard and how tough and how much they have to dig deep? This is just ridiculous. I don't know what to expect. I'm tired just watching it. And you've got someone with the hand speed that this fighter possesses. How do you deal with it? So you're getting in there with something that's so fast, you're prepared to take a lick it because you've got to get some before you get in close. Just gets out of the way of that left hand. 
Looks like they've shaken it off. Some nice exchanges from both men in this round. And they get out of the way of that left hand. So when we talk about a fighter having power, don't just look at the head punches they throw. Look at the body shot. That oh wow, they just got the clip. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. You're out. What happened? You saw it here live. A knockout win. Congratulations. Oh, what a shot. What a shot. You see shots like that in the gym. At least for once, this is on TV. Thousands around the world saw that shot. They probably even heard it.